Christy, thank you. Developing news in Polk County tonight. We've learned an upstate news crew has died in a crash on Highway 176. North Carolina Highway Patrol tells us two WYFF employees were hit by a tree while driving southbound. It's just a heartbreaking story to tell you about tonight. Reporter Mike McCormick and photographer Aaron Smeltzer were in Polk County. They were there covering all this dangerous weather that we've been seeing. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is in Polk County tonight with more on what happened there along Highway 176. Ann? Amy, we know this happened around 2.30, just feet from the site where a massive landslide rocked the area last weekend. Highway 176 is closed from Harmon Field Road to Saluda until further notice. We asked Highway Patrol and the Polk County Emergency Management Director if this accident was caused by a landslide because there is a high risk of landslides right now with chances of rain. They both said a landslide was not involved. It was just a single tree that fell. But the EMA director says it's possible weather played a part. It's hard to tell. I know there's a tree fell. I'm sure it's with the instability of the mountain up there and everything else we've had going on here and all that debris and stuff up there, it's probably very good potential it was due to the rain and the instability of the mountain. There are extra crews patrolling uh, high-risk areas, uh, so if you're out there driving here, uh, be careful. Reporting live in Polk County and Maxwell 7 News. And thank you. And as we mentioned here, two fellow journalists, they were friends of ours, died in the crash today. And we at 7 News want to offer our sincere, heartfelt condolences to all the co-workers at WYFF and to the families of Mike McCormick and Aaron Smeltzer. Our, our staff knew both of these men very well. Mike covered Spartanburg as a reporter since 2007. Aaron was a co-worker here for years before he switched channels. They were committed to their work, to this community. And while we are competitors on air, Mike and Aaron were our friends and part of a journalism family, and we will all miss them both very much.